You are watching Excess LaPorte County, Channel 97. Coming up next is the June 12, 2024 meeting of the Long Beach Board of Zoning Appeals. You can find more information for this meeting by visiting www.accesslaportecounty.org. All right, uh, I call this uh, May, uh, June 12, 2024 meeting uh, of the Advisory Board of Zoning Appeal, the Board of Zoning Appeals to order. Um, Clerk Treasurer, can you do a roll call? Chairman Seth McCormick? Here. Board members Bob May. Here. John Mangle. Here. And um, uh, Charlie Goodall. Sorry. Here. Uh, BCA Council Chris Willoughby. Here. Clerk Treasurer Meg Collins. I'm here. And Fred Woods uh, on the board is absent. And that concludes roll. And do we have a building commission representative? Would just be Bob. Yeah. So no building commission representative. Okay, can we please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and will give you the cutoff on which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Yeah, prior to the meeting, uh, we circulated uh, the the minutes from the prior meeting. Um, I think everyone has had a chance to review them. I will entertain a motion to approve those minutes unless anybody has any comments or changes. So I'll entertain a second. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye, aye. Any nays? I abstain. Okay. So Bob, Bob is abstaining, but the, it, it passes. Um, old business, we have none. Uh, new business, we have none. Preliminary, preliminary hearings, we have none. Um, we have one item for public hearing. Um, for treasurer, can you read? Uh, can you read um, the, the the public hearing into the record? A petition, sure. Sure. The public hearing is for Paul and Barbara Ellen Moran of 1514 Lakeshore Drive. It's a developmental standards variance petition requesting variance for the requirements of section 154.130, non-conforming buildings and structures. The petitioner is seeking a variance to allow an increase in volume in the one, one foot five inches non-conformance in the east side yard so they can construct a second floor that is even with the first floor in the east side yard. The preliminary hearing opened at the May 8th meeting and the public hearing is set to open tonight. So for care representing petitioners, we have uh, Ms. Moran and Anthony Novak, their attorney. The floor is yours. And Seth, I'll just state for the record that all requirements to open the public hearing have been met. Great. Thank you, Mr. President. And Ms. Moran, my name is Anthony Novak, attorney with the Legal Assistance Agency, Joe and Court. I was here in front of you last month. Uh, I need the background since this is the public hearing, and we'll do it again in the benefit of the public. So I'm uh, here representing petitioner. Yes. There we go. Um, representing the petitioners, Paul Goodrich and Barbara Ann Goodrich Barb is here. They are trustees of the respective trust that own the property in 1514 Lakeshore Drive, zone R2 residential, requesting approval of development standards variance to allow for an increase in the volume of the nonconformance in the east side yard setback. Uh, this one was built in 1918. Uh, they're seeking to renovate it to improve functionality. With this project, they're going to renovate the property and add a second floor. Um, given how old the property is, there's a number of pre-existing non-conformances that exist, specifically three-foot encroachment in the west side yard, one-and-a-half-foot encroachment in the east side yard, 12-foot, six-inch encroachment in the front side yard along Lakeshore Drive. Here with this renovation, they'll eliminate the west side yard encroachment of three feet, the 12 foot six inch encroachment in the front will remain. The second story that they'll be building, at least in the front, will comply with the setback. 
and then ultimately the one foot five inch encroachment on the east side would remain as is and the newly constructed second residence, excuse me, second floor would be flush with the first floor. Uh, like many other properties along Lakeshore Drive, this property sits on land that's unique in its terms and or historical use so that if we had to comply exactly, um, excuse me, that if it's unique in its terms of its dimension and or historical use. And without this variance, we wouldn't be able to make these improvements and enjoy the property like others in the area. At the last meeting, I indicated that Barb had talked to um, adjoining landowners and they provided verbal consent. Um, since that time, we've got four written consents that I have supplied to the town. Specifically and most importantly, I would believe the property immediately to the east at 1516, owned by the Stinson, have provided a written consent. The owners at 1512 Lakeshore Drive, the Conniffs consented. The owners at 1518 to 1522 Lakeshore Drive, the Allens have consented. And then uh, the property owner at 1517 Lakeshore Drive also provided a written consent. Um, so we're here to ask any questions or answer any questions that you may have. But that's our request tonight. So, Anthony, is the work that you're proposing on the east side? Uh, Sorry, I'm sorry. Is the, is the work that you're proposing on the east side going to diminish the view between the houses 1514 and 1512 from Lakeshore Drive? Uh, I don't believe so. No. no. Because at what level is that? It's within the regular set you have of, uh, in front, it's going to be 24 feet tall. Back is 33 feet tall. It's going to uh, go up nine feet, nine feet six inches. And where is that? Where is that height in relation to the view, the ground level, lecture, the level of lecture drive? Well, the first story um, is you take nine point six minus uh, 24 feet. The first story is the height of that, which you know is about. 15 or 14, no, no, about 14 feet, four inches. The first floor. Yes. The is down to the beach, basically. Right. And then we would go be going up um, nine feet. So Six. does the back have here with the beautiful lakeshore drive? No. No, it's actually the middle. It's above it. So any view, any, any view that's already obstructed is already obstructed. In other words, if you're standing on lakeshore drive and looking, mm -hmm. it's, the, the view won't change. Mm -hmm. Because it's above it's above it. Yeah, it's above it. Well, then, and or it's well, I mean, it's just, it's just above it because it's only going up. In other words, like the 1.5 of uh, like the 1.5 that juts out is already blocking the view. Okay, so that's so this is going to be big. So you just have to go straight up from there, it's going straight up in there to the bottom of the view. Right. Correct. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, too, is that by doing this addition, it will help in removing the um. Currently, the wires, both the electric and cable wires that come to the house are very low. And um, the garbage pickup, he has a very difficult time. I've asked him, is there anywhere I could put it on the driveway because he's he's actually broken some of the cables coming across. So with us moving it up, it should help because we'll be moving the wiring up. Okay. And have we heard from the fire department how they being able to put out a fire because they're going to have to get between those houses potentially with their equipment. So if we heard from the fire department, we asked them. I have not seen any issue that would be, it's the same that it is already. It's the same, it's, we're not increasing the encroachment only in the volume. So it's already there. It's not something that, and um, nobody's had problems going down in between the homes. Yeah, I mean, I, I think. What, the way that the, the, the lot is set up, because I'm going to look at it, and you're practically the neighbor. Yeah, right. It's like, it, it's you go to Lakeshore, and then you'd actually go down steps um, and then walk under, essentially underneath the house. And what they're, so above you would be the existing encroachment, and what they're proposing is to increase that encroachment upward. So but they're not exceeding the height. But they're, but they're not even close to that. And then, I mean, not a, I mean, I'm not a fireman, but well, two four we we currently don't have a requirement. It's a valid concern, so if yeah. that's your pleasure. So I'm not suggesting that, but we currently don't have a 
requirement that the fire department chime in and in the past that has been run by them if if it were an issue number two I, I, as mr novak had indicated in his previous submissions that addition will be in compliance with the front setback so it truly is stacking on the encroachment on the one and a half foot side encroachment by approximately nine feet up we also are going to be moving on the west side three feet right. and that will have give even more um, access and so the encroachment is going to be increasing above Talk about it. And so the question is, is the fire department's equipment going to be able to get underneath that who's you know that overhang right? Would it be anywhere right now? The net change in that doesn't is a fact because the first floor is how it is. If they weren't doing the second floor addition to be that same, the fire department would still have to go up. Right. I'm just pointing about now if they bring equipment down to reach or not. Would there be able to get under? But it doesn't move because that that nine and four exists. They're not changing that, so them going under now, they'd have to do that. If, if they weren't before, you may still have to do that. I, I suspect the stuff they're creating in the front side and the southern elevation of the house will actually be a uh, an fighting fire. Okay. The other thing is too is that. Um, where the roof line is now, probably more so would it be uh, on the east side. With us moving that, but on that line up, would it allow them access in comparison? Mm -hmm. um, and again, we have a stairway going down that they are able to access on the west that will be open to larger. Mm -hmm. That's all I've got. Sure. Are there other comments or questions? Okay. Um, do we have, have anybody in the room that would like to speak in favor of the petition? Do we have anybody in the room that would like to speak against the petition? Do we have anybody on Zoom who would like to speak in favor of the petition? Do we have anyone on Zoom who would like to speak against the petition? All right. This is somebody asking to be put on Zoom. I can hit the right button. I think I would speak them on. We can pick up on that one. Yeah. How do you do this? Right now. I just sent them home. Okay. Well, it's your favorite in the back. Okay. I'll open the floor for discussion. Well, I would be appropriate to close the public hearing. All right. Well, should we give these people 10 more seconds to try to log back on? Sure. And you, and you could backtrack if you need to. Okay. So, okay. At this yeah, point. Okay. I could have been in. Okay. Um, Okay, I'm going to close the public hearing portion of this and then. He was in. Oh, he was in. Okay. Um, maybe he got kicked out of the back end. Okay. Um, the, I'm going to close the public hearing on this and then open this for discussion amongst the board. Oh, okay. Um, my thought is that there's real value in diminishing. Um, at least one of the encroachments um, and that the increase in volume here is not unreasonable and it enhances the use and value of the home. Um, the 1.5 foot 
uh, like increasing the height of this and the volume of this 1.5 foot encroachment doesn't materially affect, um, uh, does not materially affect kind of the, the, the encroachment itself. Um, and the, 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 uh, the petition should be granted. I've had a chance to walk by your house several times. I, I would agree with everything you said. The, the, there's really not much you can do with that lot if you wanted to add some additional space, but can't go north, you can't go south. So going up is obviously the best thing to do. And to your point about the encroachment is not really noticeable and, and, and the, the in it would be upward and parallel makes a lot of sense and to your point about moving over on the on the west side makes a lot of sense as well so i would be in favor of it beyond that there's nobody on the south side of the road there so you know it's there's not really anyone to take issue with it uh, i guess for the record we live in 1508 we own 1509 1501 we're okay so we Three more yays. And for all the bar mentions, across the street, right? So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I will entertain a motion then to approve um, the petition. Um, I'll second. Second. Thank you. 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 Do you, to, do you need to announce that on the record or do I do? No, I, I think he covered, I just want okay. to make sure that so we're good. Yeah, sure. I think so. yeah. Okay. I'll pick entertain a motion to approve the petition. I'll yeah. Yeah. You second it. Okay. Um, uh, Matt, uh, Mr. Mengel. Yeah, he, he made the motion. Bob seconded it. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Nay. No nays. Thank you. Passes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yep. Um, I make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. aye.